at, at the VP level, um, you know, it becomes more about, you know, your, your business sense, um, you know, savviness, like understanding, um, you know, why we might or might not want to invest time in something and then, and then acting accordingly and making recommendations. You know, I rely on my VP to, um, you know, to really make, start making decisions, important decisions about how much time are we going to invest in, in, in researching this particular company or, um, you know, or should we kill it? You know, time is money in this business. It's all you have is, is time and you, you need to manage it ruthlessly. Um, so I think once you start to get to the VP level, being able to make those decisions about what's a good business, what's not a good business, where's the upside, is this something that fits our mandate, fits our profile, that, you know, that becomes um, a really critical function um, at the VP level. And then in addition to that, executing, you know, when you're a VP, the VP is, in my opinion, the hardest job because you have to wear so many different hats. You know, you're like, you're, you're, you're sort of like too senior to be doing some of the work, but you got to farm it out. And sometimes you got to pitch in and sometimes you're too junior to be doing, you know, you got to like juggle between being kind of senior and kind of junior. And, and a lot of times that means you have to do, you know, more than your fair share of the work in order to keep the wheels on the bus. That's why a lot of people refer to the you know, the VP or the principal position is sort of the quarterback on the deal. Like you're really the one holding the whole team together.